what are some strategic, uh, either either red flags, certain red flags or behaviors when we are listening to whether it's the heart, the gut feeling, the mind, how do we have this discernment on, on how to move forward? You know, what what is the, is there a certain template that you follow before you engage, say in a relationship when you're about to date someone or you're in a, going to engage in a coaching relationship or if you're gonna engage in a business partnership, right? The, mm. Is there a standard that you use? And if so, what is that? Yeah, I think the, that's a powerful question. I think one of the things is uh, looking at it from a place, is it realistic or is it opportunistic? Is it a good idea or is it a God idea? And I think a lot of times we have to bring our emotions in check because a lot of times our emotions can wreck our life. We've got to be able to take the temperature and, and know the barometer of where our emotions lie. Uh, because uh, just because it, it's a good feeling to you doesn't mean it's advantageous for you. Um, one, one of those things especially is looking to see, does someone's works match their words? When you're talking about relationships at all, especially relationships of any kind, I think one of the things to do is you have to go through the seasons with people. Um, you know, sometimes people, uh, they're, they're jubilant in spring. They're just, they're, their personality just springing up. Uh, summer, they want to be a hot boy. Summer, they want to be a, uh, want to have a hot girl summer. Um, in the fall, they, they just fall back. In the winter, they feel like a loser and they don't feel like a winner. You, you're seeing sometimes the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs. And a lot of times it lets you know are these red flags, are, things, are these things that I'm ignoring? Are these things that I need to unpack and that I need to deal with? Uh, then also, what is the, where's the seat of your emotions? Because the heart in the Greek is called the leb. It is really the soul. It is the, really the seat of our emotions. And even when you're talking about spiritually, your heart has to not just be in your hands, your heart has to be in God's hands uh, to where he now gives you a download of discernment uh, to say, right, right idea but wrong timing so that you're not out of step to where you're not ahead to where you're not behind but you're right on time with the trajectory of keeping your purpose in mind i, I think uh, us being able to write down our goal but also have action steps behind it and then say all right this is this is what i would like but is this god's will for my life you know we, we even biblically you know uh, scripture said god will give you the desires of your heart and we have made that so transactional, but not accountable to where we think the Bible is just a, uh, a genie. You rub it three times and you get all the wishes that you desire. When in many cases, him giving you the desires of your heart is really his desires now become yours to where God doesn't give you what you want. But hear me, he gives you what to want because you're submitted. And based upon that level of submission, moves you into a place of discipline, moves you in a place of discernment moves you in a place of direction uh, to where you can even say, yes, they're fine, but discernment tells me they're not mine.